Fun fact, doing yoga in jeans is not easy. So yoga, obviously it's a very popular activity and it's most commonly known as being relaxing. Now, of course, I had to do my research to find out what the real tea on yoga is. It says here that yoga is good for flexibility and strength, but we already knew that. Overall, it's also good for bones, joints, and a bunch of other boring, nerdy stuff. But not all yoga poses are created equally. Some of them can even be bad for you. Now, different yoga poses are good for different things and different people. Be careful if you are pregnant, nursing, or have any other issues. Okay, thanks. But generally, the following ones are good for most people. Chaturanga Dadasana, Trikonasana, Crescent Lunge, Shavasana. Oh, yes. This one's a favorite. Kapotasana. Lasagna. Tadasana. If you would like to see the real yoga poses, here they are. Chaturanga Dadasana. Trikonasana. Crescent Lunge. Shavasana. Kapotasana. Lasagna. Tadasana. Balasana. Louisiana. Sorry if I mispronounced every single one of those. The ones that I just demonstrated are really good for like an everyday repetition, but <laughs> who's gonna follow through with that? Not me. Of course, you should do your own research to find out which poses work best for you. If you are considering trying yoga or have tried yoga, please. if you have any other self-care activities that you would like me to potentially make an episode on, let me know in the comments below. I would love to read and reply to all of your comments. Bye. It's okay to not be okay, but it's not okay to not take care of yourself.